Hello my friends, Bruce here. Well look what came back, the Mary Tiller. It comes in about every two years but I actually had it in last fall and it had no spark. So I'm kind of concerned as to what's happening with this little guy. You guys are probably almost as familiar with this machine as I am. It's a uh, it's a four horsepower, 1969, and I remember this. I did not have even the, a non-electronic coil that'll fit because it has a bigger distance between the flywheel and the adjustment. And uh, also the, uh, the belt is non-standard. Somebody has put on a, a smaller pulley on the front to give it more power, and they've just put a belt on there that'll fit, and it's off standard, and I really am not sure what to do there. But the problem is not that. So let's get you back on the table. Yes, the cool table. And we're going to see if you've got a, if, if Mr. Miss Mary Tiller has a spark. So I'll be right back. So the last, the last time this old machine came in, like I said, it, it had no spark. And this is a, it's old, man. So it really doesn't take much for these old machines to act up, right? We're just going to take it off of the stop and we're going to see if we have a spark. Now he's got this plastic on here just so the gas doesn't evaporate. That's okay. But that's not going to affect our spark or not. Oh, it has a good spark. Okay. Now we can take this off of here. We'll just have a little look at the gas. It shouldn't be that bad because it's no lo it's not even seven months old. And he uses good fuel. This is our buddy Alfred. You guys almost know Alfred. I'm just gonna have a, a quick little look at the fuel. Oh, it's looking older. Okay, it should run at that though. Mm. <clears throat> okay. Let's put the uh, gas cap back on. And we'll go to choke. And it'll probably fire right up. <coughs> okay, let's disconnect this off of here. Sometimes these show... They don't... Uh, what am I trying to say? Sometimes the spark detectors don't give you the full story. Okay. Choke! It's not, it's not firing. So now we're going to see if we can tease it. This is all the standard procedures of doing what you got to do to get a machine running. The gas is old, but it should fire on these old machines. They're not that fussy if you got to start. Now I do notice that the choke's not coming out all the way. There. Let's just try that. <coughs> Maybe the air filter was pinching something. Okay, let's get a squirter. I use chainsaw gas. It just provides a little lubrication for the piston and all that other stuff too. Tilt her back. Give it a drink.
Doesn't only one jump, does it? Maybe it needs a little adjustment. That could be. Let's go. Let's see where it is. Half. One. One turn. Let's go one and a half turns just to see if we can start it. Okay, so I just made the mixture a little richer, and it's, I can start it now, but we don't know what it's like in the cold. So this might take a few days for us to figure out. Well, let's start without the choke now. Need more throttle. No, well, it needs choke. I don't know if I have to talk to Alfred or not. I need to teach him a little bit about adjustments, eh? <coughs> That's a tough one. Thanks, guys. We'll come back later, eh? Okay, we're going to suck the gas out of this bad boy. We'll put fresh gas in. How much do we have in there? This is my manual gas gauge right here. Well, not even an inch, eh? So we'll try and get it. I need to stick a screwdriver or something equivalent into that to hold it right down into this back corner down here. Good. Tilt the tiller. Tilt the tiller. About a two by four width. From the hotter side. So we can get all this gas out of here. Hmm. What do you think? That's all we need. Huh. This thing weighs a ton, eh? That'll do. Okay. We should be able to suck a bit more gas out of there now. Now, there might have been another reason why it was hard to start. There wasn't very much gas in it. Okay, I'm going to just stick a rag down in there now. Now, as long as I get all of this rag out of here, right? Just let that rock it a little bit. Okay. 
Not much at all. There's not a drop left in there. Neighbors just arrived. Okay, this is brand new fuel. Now the whole thing is at an angle too, right? So I'll just check the gas again. It's a third or tank more. Yeah, it's it's up to there now. We got three or four inches of fuel. Shouldn't yeah, we might need a choke for now to get it running. I can't do much more than that for a, what would that be, a 53 year old machine? I think it's tough. One last check. I did, I did tighten the clamp on the spark plug, the little, the little clamp on the high tension wire. Okay guys, it's the next day, and it is cloudy outside. Let's just try to get a little more light going on in here. That helps a bit, eh? So we're going to try and start Alfred's, uh, Alfred's tiller. I adjusted it on the air mixture, one half turn more out to make it richer. And uh, let's just see if it starts. It's on full choke. Not, no, not quite, eh? 
That's the darn thing catching. Now, that's maybe part of the problem. When the air filter is on, it catches. No, it doesn't seem to be the fact. Okay, let's have a look. That's got to work, right? Put this back on. Maybe I just wasn't getting gronky with it. That's good. Okay, let's see if she starts. Turn it over. Okay. going to do. I'm just going to have to tell him to uh, make sure the choke comes out all the way. And uh, that might have been part of our problem. Plus he had hardly any fuel and it was old. So that's a good thing. This thing really scratches up my floor too. Cool. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.